Well guys, uh, that's what we're having for dinner. We've got some sandwiches and a chapati. I bought myself some crisps. Crisps. And uh, choice. That's what we're going to have today. And uh, yeah, that's it. Let me see how else. Yes, yeah, still, still. Yeah. Well, looks nice. Well, that's it. Have a little grab of it. Have some crisps. Uh, I don't know. I don't know you can really see. Yeah. They're quite yummy. Look. Look, you can see in there. Yeah. Well, they're here for some time. Having a 45 minutes break. Normally, when you, with the driver's hours, the rules, if you drive four and a half hours, you have to take 45 minute break. It's the law. I'm just 10 miles away from from base, but I just can't drive because I've already reached the, the limit. Four and I stopped here at four hours and 15 minutes, but 15 minutes couldn't have. Uh, help me get to base so I'm forced to stop get a break and then head back to base pick up another load go and deliver it and then finish off sometime in the morning not really around well if all goes well might finish before five o'clock or at least five o'clock so from here let's check and see how many minutes yeah from here I've used about 24 minutes so far from here I'll go straight at the gas rack fill up with gas this truck I drive uses ni uh, liquid nitrogen gas so I'll go fill it up, go back to base, drop off this empty trailer, pick up a loaded one and then head back north. It's about an hour's drive, get there, tip and then come back and finish off my shift. So, I'm trying to see that I get something to eat and, uh, and then move on. Um, what I'll do after I've done my eating my food, I'll have to go around the truck and check and see that everything is all okay before I move off because normally it's, uh, it is quite safe if you're in 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 the parking place where at the services you can easily be you know attended to if you have a breakdown you can have a call out 
and uh, because we haven't helped you rather than going on the motorway and you get stuck on the motorway and it's not safe so it's best all the time before you drive off you have to check your truck and see maybe if you have a puncture or if you have something hanging from the side of the trailer or something's gone loose which normally happens sometimes but it's better to you know to, to, to make sure that you look around and see that you're safe and then you can drive off so guys let me finish off my my dinner and then uh, I'll get back to you when I finish off my shift on before end of shift so guys please like subscribe like my channel and leave a comment i always try my best to reply all the comments leave a comment and let me know how you feel about this uh uh a trucker's lifestyle and see whether you like it all right guys see you then